the arrest of popular Nollywood actor Chingwetalo Ago on Thursday by the Nigerian army for allegedly supporting the indigenous people of Biafra has caused outrage among many Nigerians and the Nollywood industry. The army spokesperson, Onye Mangwachuku, while detailing the reason for the actor's arrest, accused him of inciting members of the public and soliciting for the support of the indigenous people of Biafra because he was dressed in a very well-known attire of the group. Mwachuku also claimed that the actor was not assaulted or subjected to brutalization during the arrest, as it has been reported in the news. Well, let's take a quick look at this footage of his alleged arrest before we come back for a discussion. I mean, Rufai, what does that look like to you? I mean, thank God, camera pictures don't lie. <laughs> is that what the man they were carrying there? So what is brutalization? And I heard gunshots they in the air. They were shooting in so the air. So why? They were shooting in why? the air. So why do we keep doing this? Why? Thank God there are picture evidence there. I, I believe they will say that was doctored. Please show it again. Let people make up their mind. Can't you see who they were carrying? And were there no gunshots? Now, the issue about him wearing that Biafra attire, Tundu, I mean, what is that as, re as it relates to the law? Do they have a right to do that? Well, it's been a few years since I first heard that you will be arrested if you own fly or sell the Biafra flag. I tried to buy one. You know I'm into my costumes. Yes. For World Book Day, I tried to buy one for my boy to get dressed as Ujuku. We do historical figures. And I couldn't buy one for Love and Money in Lagos because apparently you will be arrested. But the law in Nigeria is, if you're arrested, fine. But can you be prosecuted if there's no law that exists specifically criminalizing the sale or ownership of a Biafra flag? That's my issue. In Lagos, the Delta... Abia, Anambra, name it. Over the years, there have been announcements by the police. Commissioners of police have come out to say, if you own this, you'll be arrested. And even now, this year, in, um, in um, Anambra, I believe it was, on Independence Day, people were told, if you fly a Nigerian flag, you will be dealt with. This is where we are in this country. And I'm going to link it to your previous story about Atiku Abubakar's presidential ambition, which he has the right to have, but for crying out loud, not now. Look at what is going on in this country. He was carried, like, I thought they were yes. carrying, like, a sack of rice. That was yeah. a man. It wasn't, it's not a, that was a assault. man. They were manhandling in that fashion. <laughs> then they because, he, of, because of his attire. Yes. Not that he had attacked anybody. This is where we are as a country today. It's really where we need to do something about this national cohesion. Mm -hmm. And I go back to the first communique of the Southern Governors, which said that we need a national conversation. There must be a national dialogue. We can't go one like this. Do you think that it was insightful, Dr. Abati? No, yeah. there was no incitement there because no person can be arrested or prosecuted under a law that does not doesn't exist, exist in Nigeria. Section exist. 36, subsection, section 8, and subsection 12 of the 1999 Constitution. The whole body of section 36 of the 1999 Constitution deals with fair hearing. And that is also the position in Aoko Faso Fagwimi in 1961 case. You can't be tried under a law that does not exist. There's no law in Nigeria that says you can only wear certain particular kinds I of can imagine. So the man this can wear what he likes. Definitely. That's number one. Number two, the military, the army, has issued a statement saying that it was inciting people. Well, we can't see the evidence, except this video is limited. He was not preaching to anybody. No. He was not conducting any He's rally. Just standing right there. And if they're saying uh, IPOP is a proscribed organization, as the statement from the Nigerian army says, it is IPOP that is prescribed. It's not Biafra. Correct. Not Biafra the flag. What is that? Been in existence since the declaration of the Civil War in 1967. And Chiwentalu Agu can wear whatever he likes. Yes. Now, and okay, except they have the evidence. Three, I think that the Nigerian army owes Chiwentalu Agu an apology. Absolutely. And they should compensate him for brutalizing him. Because I think. 
the Nigerian army went overboard. And now, the section 207, or, or is it 217, of the same uh, constitution and the uh, Army Act uh, uh, of Nigeria, Armed Forces Act, says that, you look, the Nigerian army can intervene in situations of threats to the sovereignty of Nigeria, situations of an emergency, and also as an aid to civil authority. Is, is Nigeria at war? Oh. So what they were doing was overboard, was a breach of the constitution. Scandalous. It is only the police that has been given powers to arrest you as an individual when there is no war. And finally, Chimwen Talu Agu, if you saw that video, there was a boss there saying Chuku, Chukun Talu uh, films. Okay, the man is an actor. God. He's in a position to sue the Nigerian Absolutely. army yes. for preventing him from conducting his work as a professional. There's something we call in theater. Uh, Constantine Stanislavski, early 20th century, was a proponent in theater of what they call the method or the technique. It's called the given if method. The given if method in theater talks about immersion, about emotional memory. If you want to play a role, you yes. can leave it out via yes. emotional memory yes. or putting yourself in the situation of that particular experience. What if uh, uh, Chimu Agu is a method actor? So within that purview, you are stopping him from doing Absolutely. his work, from conducting his professional enterprise. But there's so much ignorance in yeah. Nigeria, and some of the uh, most ignorant people are those who wear uniforms and have been badly educated, okay. and so they don't clear, clear, clear their actions with their superiors, because those superiors also do not know better. So, so much ignorance working on stilts well around Nigeria. Well said, everyone.